Wisconsin podcast where we talk about entrepreneurship, self development, and challenging norms. Did, was that supposed to do a hook? <laughs> I don't care. I think we should roll the last minute right before this. You just went right into it. Yeah, dude, I'm good to rip. Uh, I'm sick with it. Uh, we get a lot to talk about because uh, when did we talk a lot? I, I think Weeks. I was barely getting. Weeks. We shut everything down. We, sh- we Dude, shut everything you down. You remind me of, like, who's that bear that fights fires? Smokey the Bear. Smokey, dude. I look at you and I just think Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Ow. All right. I got to. No. So this, is, this episode is going to have moderate laughability. Right. Because I've got a broken rib. This is what. Ha- oh. <laughs> this is what's happening. We're on this. So- it's like. <laughs> no, dude. We have this. <laughs> It hurts so much. Dude, stop. This is Friday. (laughs) It hurts so much. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. So here's here's, here's our little Schrodinger business. Before it was Schrodinger's cash flow, now it's like Schrodinger's company. I I don't know what it is. It's all there and there's nothing there. It's it's Fugaz, but it's like a lot of cool Fugaz. So what happened was... uh, I don't know. It's been, wait, we've wait, been wait. in the dark ages. You're so inside. You don't leave this apartment. Fugaz? That's not a real thing for anybody. No, everyone knows a Fugazi. Fugazi, Fugazi. Yeah. Now it's shorter. Now it's shorter. But before that, I mean, if you're just listening to this for the first time and you hear these guys talking They're about not, Fugaz. Dude. Our subscribers don't translate to the podcast. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Uh, all right. So the Fugaz is, <laughs> we have this this company and uh we were basically the peak like if you wanted to buy a share of clipped the time to buy was like july 15th 2022 because we were rolling and and i don't know if we shot a pot of then but it was like 140k mrr at least and belky's like dude we're millionaires i'm like i'll see it when i believe it and then a week later we we get like one cancellation two cancellations three four and it was just like Ah. right back to january and where we so were in january i was using the time in july because we, we thought we we're like just riding the high i'm like oh we, we can kind of like not focus on the business because that's going well even though i kind of smelled like something's gonna burn and, and, and crash and fall down but i'm like let me just sh- shoot some shorts get us out of like doing agency work trying to like tell people oh here's the it factor here's how to be cool and viral uh so i was shooting that and you were kind of like on the run, no one was really looking over the business at all. And so it makes sense when everyone starts to cancel because they're also not getting results. But I now start to get some results. I get a little, uh, like, you know when you sprinkle the little flakes in the water for fishes and the fishes are coming to bite. But it's not just like a couple. You see some monsters. It's a whale. Dude, whale video got 400 views. How about that? <laughs> yes, dude. Um, I got. Uh, I shoot shorts. I shot a whale short. How about that? There it is. Uh, so basically, if anybody edits, this. I have a couple, no, <laughs> abyss. I have a couple of shorts that start to do well. And by start to do well, I mean like before they were all getting 2000, like YouTube's alg- algorithm sucks, but we realized it just takes them a while to figure out who your people are. Cause, uh, like 20 days after I drop a couple episodes, uh, which some did a couple episodes, a couple shorts, a couple did well on TikTok, But then finally YouTube's like, Oh shit, this is really good. This is really, really fucking good. And I'm like, you think you think, yeah. and it's just, you just see this fucking rocket ship going to the moon. We get a couple million views and a couple different clips and I'm stoked. And now we have this little walk to this pier in the background, or I don't know what you call it, but a little park. And we're like next step. All right. We have this like small sample, like five out of my dozen or so clips did well, like viral by the tens of thousands standard, uh, a couple of the millions. Belky's like. What's up? Uh, <laughs> we go out on the pier. You're like, okay, next step, if we're going to sell this, because that's our goal is like sell virality. That's kind of our product as an agency, the anti-agency. Whoa, I forgot about this, dude. What we said is like, okay, we got to replicate it. Right. I don't know what you forgot. but What I forgot is we said we need to replicate this virality with me as if right. I'm our next client. Right. And for some reason, I think August paid like something. We were running up against time and we're like, we need to prove this and replicate it on me in like a week, two weeks. Right. Well, because it's the 20 day lag on YouTube. Yes. 
we need to shoot like this week go viral yes because we're expecting like it's going to take an, like a month before anything actually hits and it takes us time to edit and yeah stuff. so what i couldn't believe is i actually f- didn't think that it could be done in a week well hey. <laughs> Listen up, boys and girls. So we're no, like, all right, I, I'm trying to like do this views framework. I'm trying to figure out like this little acronym, like what, what are we doing? But at the end of the day, it's just like have a story that a lot of people recognize. It's just like take something that's already kind of viral, this like pop culture thing. Just tell that story and make sure it's fucking entertaining. And so you do basically the same, literally the same exact version. We're just like same copy thing. paste what Dylan did. Yeah. Let me just take my whole vibe, which is very similar on camera. It's just like, yo, we have energy and uh, use the same exact animations and see how it does and then how it do. How it do. So I beat you to a thousand subscribers. You in two days went from <laughs> 900 to 10,005. And me over the weekend, I think I'm at like 15,000 now. Ah, rub it in, dude. I posted last night when you're at 10,000, you're at 15 already. 15. Just off that one video. That one video probably hit 10,000 subs. The crazy thing about these videos that I'm doing now, I don't know if they're trapping people in the little McDonald's business ecosystem. There's no end in sight on these graphs. Right, right. Mine, <laughs> mine you see it like it, it asymptotes. It basically gets like, okay, right about like 2 million or whatever. That's where it should uh, and max And you could out. see it easing. This is 4.2 million. Oh, no, that's it's dude. Just, it's you, the Himalayas. No, 4.2 and it's still. <laughs> that's the thing. I, I was thinking, I'm like, okay. That's my, done 10 and a half thousand subs. This is one that's clip. All the this subs is I the have. first clip that wasn't that good. The hook wasn't that good. Maybe, it, maybe that's, that was it. I don't know. McFlurry, the second one. Oh, that's even Himalayas. More. <laughs> but McFlurry? <laughs> that's that was McFlurry. That half a million yesterday. <laughs> that too. You want another? Dude. This one's early. The crack spoon. No, the cr- you got them in the McDonald's <laughs> ecosystem, dude. They're just in the playpen. They're going. It's around. crazy. And then one that wasn't doing well. Uh, Joe Malone wants a piece. Joe Malone wants a piece, dude. She's- I think we'll put all these on screen. And then Craigslist. This is like my worst one. Craigslist wants in. Holy shit! It. This is why I'm addicted. That's it's, it's well, heroin. That's that's the danger because I. We were, we, I don't know, we talked the other day and you were in here and you're just like refreshing every two minutes because it is a crack high. You're like, oh, oh, I just got another 10,000 Like people We put watching. out so many clips that when we release one, we know the different tiers of the algorithm. Yeah. So we know, like, at first you got to get to 2,000 views. That's YouTube. Uh, and, if, and, and that's YouTube pushing your stuff. And if your watch time's not that great, it's going to end there. But if in that first rush you get to four or 5,000, that's a good sign. And my biggest ones in the first hour got to 50,000, 100,000, if you remember that. So it's like, that's the crack high. It's like when you put it out, it's like, ooh, what are those first 10 minutes going to be? This is like the the McDonald's being like the most recognizable brand in the world. So it's like, oh, if there's like an infinite TAM as an like total addressable market, like audience, everyone in the world is potential audience to watch that clip. It's like... I've eaten a hamburger before. How's that work? That's sick. And and now it also makes me question. I'm like, uh, for that clip, we had two awesome variations. One was awesome in the first half. Ooh. The other one was awesome in the second half. I'm like, what would it have been if we somehow spent like an extra day or two combining? Like, maybe it'd be a 10 million view clip. Whoa, right. So I'm like, th- with power laws, our whole iteration, like it's it's worth getting out two clips versus one. I'm like... Maybe it isn't. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, when when you're talking about uh, like a Cody Sanchez or um, Alex Hormozzi, who basically always get like 20,000 views every single clip, it's like, yeah, just get to 80% and put it out because it's going to get the same amount of views as another clip. It's like, now we're at the level where it's worth putting in that 80 to 100, assuming it's still objectively better. Like that we knew the second half yes. was objectively better. So we should have figured out a way to combine them. And we could have, and the reason I didn't is because of our principle. I was like, well, first of all, it was my first clip. I was like, just get it the fuck out the, the door. The first clip, The first dude. clip. And then, and then it's like, well, it's not sustainable to have two editors smash their clips together in the long run. So I was like, just fuck it. We got to go right, with, with right, the, right. the better one. Um, but I was thinking about that. It's like, yeah, with Power Laws... The second half of the other one was much stronger. So it's, it's but it, really it's, freaking... And... You saw this hook and you're like, 
that's it. Like, what the fuck was that hook? Like, that's not a good hook. And so it's just kind of confusing. It's like with power laws, everything matters, but also still everything we think is always wrong. It's like very yeah. confusing. So uh, the hook, we'll play it like right now. Welcome to this more nonsense podcast where we talk about entrepreneurship, self-development and challenging norms. Did, was I supposed <laughs> to do a hook? It's, it just happens really fast. And I'm like, oh, the, the squirting, like you needed a little bit more context. But now I'm thinking about my whale clip, which I thought was just another banger clip. It's just like really interesting. And everyone knows about whales. So maybe do well, still might, but it's basically like the worst performing video right now. And it might be because this is where it's like everyone who the fuck actually knows. No, but I it's think like I, I think the, the first couple thing. seconds, it's just like me looking it's up quiet. at whales and it's like confusing what's happening. You kind of need to just crack energy. It's like, uh, Oh, I got some more connections, but, uh, like going out to a club and trying to meet girls at night, like what you do during the day and meeting people like talking normally like this. No, that doesn't work. It's like, you gotta be ADHD just fucking cracked out of your mind just for the first like 30 seconds. Cause that's, that's what, for some reason that energy just works. You can't come in and be like low energy. Same thing there. It's like, Oh, I started with something and then it was just a lull. It's like, it was a lull. There was no music and you were like watching these whales. It's, it's, it was just enough time to swipe. Right. Right. And it's like the thing on screen isn't interesting enough. Well, like it's, it's hard, hard to, tell. to tell. Right, right. Because you've got these dark colored whales in dark blue water. So I caught it. You got to be kind of cracked out in a good way. I don't know. I'm just thinking because the sauce didn't even make sense. But it was just the silence. It was just the silence. Right. Like I think if there were music there, it would have worked. Right. Uh, the thing with girls is like uh, if you're talking and there's like awkward silence right at the beginning, she's like awkward. Okay, I leave. Like awkward means flight. Hmm. And same thing with scrolling. It's just like awkward. Like, what the fuck is this? I'm gone. So, uh, so lesson learned. That, like, that's why it's the good to have the winners man. and losers. And you often lose or learn more from the losers. Uh, so, all of these millions of views, thousands of subscribers. We'll see if they actually translate to a long form. We want to turn this into sort of drunk history for long form, at least for mine. Uh, your vlogs will start to figure out. It's like now, now we're in like the patty world where it's mm -hmm. like, okay, how do we turn these short form into long form or do we just stay gas pedal in the short form and then we'll worry about the long form later once we have like a hundred thousand a million subs it's like i'm kind of in favor of that just because it's like less new variables in the situation yep. just like double down on but what what's works. cool i think kind of our mode our edge that a lot of other people don't have is like when they're starting off as creators they're editing their own shit right so like we have the the ability to launch we could launch six shows at the same time you know, it's like right. all we do all day is shoot content versus maybe another person who's just getting started um, has to edit their own shorts. You can't actually do anything else. Right. So this is where it was like in hindsight, it's nice that we have this agency that's just an engine and right. we can just tap into it in whatever capacity we need. Well, basically, if everyone were sold out right now, we'd have like around five or so free shorts editors which if they could do two clips a week, then that's like, whatever. it's literally like five clips each a week, which we want to do even more than that. So it's like, how do we turn yeah. this virality into something sustainable? Because as of right now, and monetizable, you know, cause like right. there's sustainable no, means uh, yeah. monetizable in my mind, but also we don't want to burn out, which uh, burnout can come from like no other videos get 4 million views in three days. Oh yeah. Like you don't have the 20 day thing too. It was just immediate with yours, which is crazy. The most, uh, which is also why you've been shooting content for years. So it's like YouTube probably trusts you more and you're already at a thousand subs. They're like, okay, this guy's probably putting out good stuff. Oh wait, he finally like figured out what the other thing I think too, is like my stuff is kind of in a niche so they can recommend my stuff to people who have seen it. Versus like yours, it's like <laughs> <laughs> good luck. you're making stuff that people really need to just follow you. Because like a viewer who gets a bunch of whale and like animal planet videos is going to get yours. But they're not also going to get the airplane bombers. You know, like right. there's no synergy inside your right. There's no your community. The, your the ecosystem the is ecosystem, just like. Which is impressive that you can blow up on basically just random clips. Well, uh, the, <laughs> right, 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 right. That's why you're, you're getting like multiple. I have one major clip that is now driving 
stuff to other related clips. Right, right. And I've literally seen it play out. It's like they weren't doing anything, and now YouTube's like, oh, those are all... We, we found where, where these clips need to go. It's it's the like people that watch How I Built This or something. Right. So we'll see. It's kind of an, ex an experiment. I'm taking the Vox angle, where Vox is just like, hey, whatever is just really interesting. Like I, I get a little bit more leeway in terms of I can find more interesting stories because there's no niche but yours like it just works better within the ecosystem so we'll see what happens regardless it's fun but how do we actually monetize this like how do we make money off of virality our original our original idea was sell virality so it's like okay we figured it out we replicated it we're going to teach you how to do the same what we uh realized soon after talking to one of our mentors like pseudo mentors was hey uh Agency, fine, like it's a hog. Like he he runs this $10 million a year agency and he's like, or he doesn't run it. He, he doesn't even he, run it. He has someone run it. They'll they'll make a couple of million dollars a year, but he's like, dude, it's it's a fucking lot. And it's like uh, scaling beyond this level of 10 to 15 million a year is nearly impossible with an agency. So, and, and just think about this. They have extremely low churn compared to us in the industry. It's right. 5%. Multiplied by 10 months, that means 60% of their clientele is churning every single year. That's just like, that's effectively everyone. Yeah. It's just always churning. Right. So, I mean, everything is always that churns. That, that seemed like a lot. Yeah, because 5% is one out of every 20 months. You're going to last 20 months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is almost two years. That's, but that's, that's, that's awesome. Like, that was always our goal with the agency was, like, get people to stay for two years. Mm -hmm. like, that's what we wanted. So, basically, the 5% number is what he's at. Uh and you're gonna have churn in anything, SAS, whatever it is. Oh, that is it. That is two years. Yeah, like four percent, three, four percent. Huh. And we're you're, at fifteen. You're not SAS. Huh. I know you're. Huh. Belkai. Oh, you get text from. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, so. My rib. How do we how do we monetize it? He's like, dude, it's a hog. Uh, and I know you're trying to teach virality, and this is kind of like our concern we've had is, hey, we go to some of our current clients and we're like, this is what you should do. And some of them are about it, some aren't. But then we look at them trying to do our suggestions. It's like, they're just boring as shit. It's like, can't you just talk to a camera? It's like yeah, you're it's, excited. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's so many layers. It's like, it's that. It's also like I've been telling you recently, we are imposing a different marketing strategy on them. They're sitting around at their company, you know, eating food in their boardrooms. Like they're coming up with their own marketing ideas. That they have that they have bought into because they have talked themselves into them so then when we tell them they should do something it's like yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try that next we'd rather do seo and we're like it's right. 2022 the, well, the game is not seo uh we also think so basically we've been in this like hazy fog for so long months of it's been three months the whole existence of our company. We, well, yeah. we haven't known, like we get these weird signals here and there and then we kind of like double down on that signal and then right after it's like, oh wait, no, that wasn't, that wasn't a And right we signal. always come back to the same first principles, which is like the agency is a hog. Clients are difficult. It would be great if we could turn everything we're doing in on Clipped itself and become, you know, like a Vox. Right. A media company like Vox and just play by our own rules. And that was kind of my goal. I just didn't believe it was possible because we hadn't done it ourselves. And thanks to the morning brew guys that were like, hey, why aren't you going viral yourself? We're like, all right, you know, we should fucking do it. Put some skin in the game. It. We actually do. Uh, so now we actually believe in ourselves. And we realize, too, with the agency, when we're trying to sell virality, there's this Alex Hormozzi equation that's like, I don't know if it's called the value equation, what it is, but part of it is what is the sacrifice and effort someone has to put in? Like you want to lower the sacrifice other people have to do. And one of our, some of our friends that basically do a clipping of podcasts that we started out doing, uh, they're reasonably successful from just, Hey, from here's my library of content. Just turn it into stuff that goes yeah. viral. And they do a good job at that, but we didn't want to do that. Like we're just not good at the, the like, we call it time cutting, like figuring out the stories and making sure it's punchy. Uh, that's not our specialty. It's so hard to control, right? And we're talking about power laws. It's like if you cut a podcast clip and it's like 80% confusing, right? But like all the context isn't there because they didn't record it live. It's like that's the difference between 3,000 views and 30 million. Right. So we're just like that. we can't play it's, that game. It's just power laws just like 
if again, if you don't know the formula for success, if you don't know the difference between why this video will go viral and that won't, and we don't necessarily know hundred percent, but we can tell like a really bad one versus a really good one. Uh, if you can't tell, then just put out pure quantity, like do the clip thing. And like, it's probably in the right direction. Uh, do what they're doing, but we understand it. So like rather than put out this thing with the kind of a shitty hook because you already had it shot, just reshoot it and look at the camera. But that reshooting is something people don't want to do. Like we it's were trying job. to sell this billionaire on this new idea to some extent. And he's like, Hey, that's really cool. Love that you're going viral. Uh, I don't really want to shoot more content. I'm just going to put a lot of money into this stuff and it's kind of doing all right, I guess. Like he just wants to dump money on the fire. And so what we realized talking to our mentor, pseudo mentor is basically <laughs> I keep qualifying. <laughs> it. Uh, but mentor I feel like is there more frequently, but he's basically like, y'all, it's just, I, I know informal. you're trying to sell this, but you have the it factor. Like there are some people I, I play <laughs> fucking pickleball every morning with kid rock. And we're like, what are you talking about? It's like, yeah, I do this and I can see with him. And he saw with, uh, who's the American Idol dude? Uh, St Steven Tyler, Steven, Steven Tyler. Tyler. No. Like, well, yeah. American or, Idol, but, uh, Aerosmith. I know. I, I, just, I don't really do music. I just saw him on the show. Uh, I forget who was doing it to who, but it's like, Steven Tyler, you just have the it factor. Like you have that vibe. You have that aura about you. You just know you're going to be successful as a, a rock star. And so hey, yeah, it was he's a good like, story. Yeah, you guys forget. are the rock stars of video. Like you just get it. You were raised in this and you have now an agency where it's like no one can compete with you because the last year or two you've been training these editors for the, specifically this purpose uh she's like just double down on that like be the media empire that you should be yes you might have to work with the hog just to like sustain yourself but the beauty is it doesn't really cost us all that much i mean it doesn't cost us all that much it's like half a million dollars a year if we wanted to pay ourselves and like 10 animators to really become an empire but that's all it costs to be as big as bigger than vox yeah bigger literally he, yeah he's like well, so what's what's the kind of 10-year plan, guys? Do you want to be a, a big media company or a lean, small one? I was like, well, a moderate one. He's like, why don't you just be a big one? If you're going to do it, you might as well just... Power like, loss. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right? He's oh. like, just just try and be a massive one. And then yeah, whatever I mean, happens, when happens. When it's kind of based on our personalities, though, it's harder to sell, so we can't burn out. Because yeah. dude, there's nothing to sell. Like you can't have someone come and sub in for us. Uh, so we realized that now it's like, how do we, how do we just survive the short term so that we can keep pouring gasoline on the shorts fire? Our realization, and it kind of feeds back into the idea of like people don't want effort and sacrifice. Is, oh, what if McDonald's just sponsored these videos? It's like, hey, McDonald's, these just got six million views, and it's like. Not 45 junk. seconds. It's called a minute. Every one of these 6 million people just sat down and did this. Listening to the McDonald's story for 60 seconds. That was like three seconds. Multiply that by 20. Now, and it doesn't even feel like an ad. It's just the most native thing in the world. The visionary. Listen to him. Go. Dude, it's sick. Oh, the founder. Hey, uh, as McDonald's, it's like, yeah, can you please do like three more of those? And we'll pay you the same rates that everyone's doing for ads. Like this is the most beautiful native ad because I skip through every ad because I'm like, oh, I don't I don't want what they're selling me. But it's like, oh, if it's an interesting story and at the end, who even knows if there's a call to action? If not, it's just Doesn't like building a brand. Be, yeah. The biggest companies don't even care. Coca-Cola is just like, yeah, just drink things and they're going to end just up drinking them in stuff. the movie. Like literally put a Coca-Cola cup on the counter in the movie. It's right. Like so now it's like if you go off of ad rates, so it's like cost per mil. mil, which is like a thousand views. So if you're doing, let's just basically there's a range called like 10 bucks to 30 bucks. Who knows where we're at? We're at like kind of, I don't know if we're like the most conservative possible. It's like 10 bucks. I think that's the lowest ad rate on TikTok. 10 bucks for a thousand views. That's what companies will pay. Well, a million is a thousand thousand. So it's basically like you get a million views, you get $10,000. Mm -hmm. That's what McDonald's would pay us. Now you get 6 million. You just got $60,000 off of something that took us four hours collectively to shoot. And then a couple days of editors, which basically costs us nothing. 
sixty thousand dollars at the low end, and then say it's a thirty dollars per thousand. Now multiply it by three. It's like one hundred and eighty thousand dollars pure profit. Right. It's just like oh my god, and that's something we do in an afternoon. What if we did for that? ourselves? That was fun. That you know, I think like. Us working with the team is different than clients working with the team. It's just like we're like way more lax. I just think it's more fun. It's easier. Our style's goofy. We rip with the team. Yeah. So we're like, oh, my God. Plus, the idea that people would have to find other people like us within their companies is impossible. Because we're, we're so rare. And, hey, we're dope. We're so rare. It's like, why don't you guys just become the thing? Like, it's hard to find you, hard yeah. to find animators that you work well with. Like, we're not going to find that within HubSpot. Well, I, I, what happened is I started doing what you were doing, right? And I sit down. At first, I, like, I had another job. Like, I run the company. I didn't even have time to do clips, which is what we do. So I was doing them bad. Then I sit down to do what you do, and it's like the research takes time. Right. The scripting takes specific knowledge. You need to be a director, a screenwriter, an editor all in your head. And I turn to you, and I'm like clients can't do this right there's no freaking way like darmesh cto of hubspot could do this right and they don't want to do and they it. don't want to it, it, it's a it's full like, work hey day. we just have a shitload of money just you guys do the thing that people like <laughs> and we'll just pay you for that so now i'm super excited and we realize this and plus someone else hissed us up this week it's like we're in this lull of we didn't know what to do we're not going to make payroll this month it's like what the fuck uh then we get a text. It's like, hey, this company I work at, this startup that's going to the moon, they're like, they need a video for this new launch coming up. Uh, they want some small creators like you. Just saw you had millions of views. Uh, can you do that for us? And we're going to pay you tens of thousands of dollars, like $30,000 plus. Uh, granted, we'd have to go out to like San Francisco and do some stuff, but it's like, oh, that's all profit for a weekend. And it's assuming like, we can figure it out, but seeing the quality of videos that they were putting out already, I'm like, dude, we smoke everyone. Yeah. It's like, I'll, I'll put in one weekend a month in the short term, like true in the, the longer term, we don't have to fly anywhere. We'll just do it in our living room and take a couple hours. But, uh, granted not every video goes viral, but I think once we build the audience, then it's going to be a lot more consistent with what goes viral. Uh, so we see like, okay, we just got to do it ourselves. Just have fun doing it ourselves and we can keep our own brand. We don't have to like, do anything crazy, reinvent the wheel with every new client for a new style and like a new thing. She's like, this is the brand. This is how it looks. People love it. Literally. And just add whatever cool ideas you have. And they're almost sourcing the ideas. Like if uh, McDonald's came to us or like Southwest Airlines or HubSpot, whoever it is, is like, hey guys, uh, here's what makes a really good story. What stories do you have that are like this? They feed us and then boom, we just rip. Uh, so that's the goal plus... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but it's like also cool. It's just like a weird confluence of things. Uh, David Sachs links you up with Chamas' wife and he's like, uh, hey, Chamas' birthday is coming up. Can you make a video for us like in a day and a half? But, <laughs> hey, you know, but it's it's just interesting seeing the people at the top. They all just work off of referrals. Like right. this new tens of thousands of dollars gig is just from a referral just because we, we know this person. And then those all lead. And, and – the way I see it too is like we didn't know if we wanted to be an agency in the sense like in the way we currently are where we're doing client work, client work. But if we're a more internal agency that gets to play by our rules and we're doing ads for people and again they need to play by our rules, that's a totally different ball game. It's it's almost it's on easy mode. Yeah. I feel like every new client it's just like a new person. It's like because you can. So one you of just our play long term games, right? Yourself. It's just long term. Like all of our commandments, which I'm sure we'll do an episode on eventually, can be boiled into this. Like one of them is um, uh, perfection through iteration, V1 and done. So if we get an ad for McDonald's and we make a clip and they're like, ah, uh, you, you know, you can't say that word. We can be like, this is our agency. You came to us. It's V1 and done. It does no harm, you know. And it's like. Huh. Although I might add a, a V2 or V3 because of power laws. <laughs> we, we have this new little banana V3 thing. and flea. V3 and flea. <laughs> flea I'll take it. Yeah, but it's just it's just a little paradigm shift. Like right. instead of doing direct work with clients, 
they come to us and we make the ads but internally. I also like how simple it is. It's like if you're coming to buy, uh, you're like, do I go on TikTok, the marketplace, and pay some creator there, or or do I go to people I'm already fans with? And oh, they they run Silicon Valley. Like everyone in Silicon Valley just goes to them, and they just we're just the the default. Um, it's just a lot easier, and all they have to do is go in and like, oh, uh, twenty dollars CPM, and I only have to pay if they get over a hundred thousand views. So I'm gonna not even pay. It's like, yeah, I'll do that. It takes two minutes. Boom. Uh, so we're really uh, we're stoked on that. I don't even. Uh, I don't know. It's it. It's basically survival right now. Just it's survive. total survival. Oh, we almost it's, got a loan too from Stripe. I hope so. Yeah, it's basically like how can we fund how can we just kind of how can we stall almost like can we get three months right to like make something personally if we can do that we can probably escape i also if we can't we're in this prison right you know where we just kind of churn and we won't die it'll just putts it'll just putts i'll figure out a way out of this window (laughs) with clips you see them like there's this positive feedback loop. So once they get over a certain amount of likes, so say it's like once it crosses a thousand likes or 10,000 likes, people are like, oh, this is this is a good clip. So mm-hmm. I'm going to give it an extra like five or 10 seconds of, okay, people clearly liked it. So I'm going to sit around for a little bit longer. Same thing with subscribers. If people see uh, that we have say 50,000, 100,000 subscribers, now we're also going to, granted, I don't think it shows on the shorts feed, but like even with long form, people are going to give us like a little bit more buy-in just at the start. So I think it's, it's totally. just nice to always have that, that leeway. Um, last thing, totally unrelated. I don't know. Do you have anything? Uh, I never got nothing. Okay. Whatever, whatever do I crosses wanna, my mind. I wanted to talk about at some point. Oh, ow. Should that be a separate episode? I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't know Let her rip. I, the I 11th hour. Wait, not, you just named him. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Gardaloo! <laughs> Oh, <laughs>